For this project, I started with several glasses that look like this. I had picked them up at a garage sale. I look for glass at garage sales and thrift stores. This glass, I took the nipper tool that I have in my hand and I nipped around the perimeter of the glass, just as you see here. And you continue to go around until you either have enough glass that you need or the glass is gone. And I just did the thinner part at the top because if you see the part that I'm actually holding on to, it gets a little bit too thick down there. So I took several glasses and just nipped around the perimeter till I got right down to that area. And if you do it just like that, the glass should be able to stand up on its own. I do have a previous video on how to make roses um, that you can look up if you want, <clears throat> but this is, basically how you do it. And then I took this glass along with some other glass and I put it in my tumbler and I tumbled it uh, for several days in the tumbler. Now normally I um, just break up glass and then throw it in the tumbler but about five months ago I started actually shaping some of the glass and then tumbling it so that it comes out the shape that I want instead of having a limited selection. So um, I did make another rose out of that same glass without it being tumbled, and this is how it turned out, which also looks very pretty, but for this project, I wanted it tumbled. Next, next I took a 22 by 16 inch mirror that I picked up from a garage sale. I flipped it over, and I sealed the back of it. And normally I've been sealing um, my frames with just regular Elmer's glue, but because the mirror was so heavy, I decided I needed something stronger. I tried using white silicone, but uh, because I didn't have any clear, but the white silicone can be seen in the reflection, so I, it was really a mess. I had to take it all off. And then I had this stuff called Lexel, which is similar to like a liquid nails. And I put that around the perimeter of the back of the frame where the mirror would sit. I figured this would be stronger than some Elmer's glue. Then I took the mirror and replaced the mirror. And then I took some clear Elmer's glue and put it around uh, where the cracks were um, just to help uh, prevent any resin leaks. So it serves two purposes. It holds it in, place and then it helps prevent resin leaks when you put resin on the other side. After it had dried for 24 hours then I took painter's tape and put that around the perimeter as another precaution, precaution against resin leaks. I've really had problems with resin leaks in the past and then I just went ahead and started setting up the glass. Now some people when they make these flowers or roses or whatever they look like to you uh, they will actually start in the middle, but for some reason I always start on the outside. And um, I went ahead and made five of these along the top of the perimeter. Then I took my green tumbled glass and made some little leaves around the roses there. Now this is uh, glass that I've, again, found at garage sales and thrift stores, broken up and tumbled in my tumbler for up to a week. Next, I was ready for the resin. I was putting more at the very bottom of the mirror, but I thought it would be easier to spread out if I did that last. So um, when I use resin, I wear a respirator, I wear gloves. For this project, I'm using art resin, a one-to-one -one ratio resin. Uh, you mix both in the cup, mix slowly. The slower you mix it, the less bubbles you'll get. Scrape the sides, scrape the bottoms to assure thorough mixing. It starts out clear and ends up clear after about three minutes of mixing, and then it's ready to put on the project. I usually start by spooning the resin over the glass first, and then I put it around the perimeter and um, I spread it out on this large open area. Next, I use the kitchen torch to get rid of the bubbles. And then I take little gold beads and put them in the center of all the flowers, three in each of them. And then I take these small pieces of blue glass and make little flowers and put a gold ball in the, in the center of each of those. Now, this is also tumbled glass, 
that I've broken up. When you break up glass, it can break up in all sorts of ways, and these just happen to break up into small pieces, and I was able to make little flowers out of them. Then down at the bottom, I took my um, stained glass that I had previously cut and tumbled in my MJR tumbler, and I made stems, and I continued on making more flowers on each of those stems. And then I put a butterfly at the very top of the flowers. And then I took some of the Dollar Tree glass that I had talk, <laughs> talked about in previous videos. You can find it over in the vase filler section. They have a couple different colors. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. I always check for it when I go in. Um, and I just put that at the bottom to kind of finish it off. And then the last thing I needed to do was make the antennae for the butterfly. And I had an old uh, necklace that I kind of pulled apart that had some seed beads on it. And I made the antennae with that. And um, jewelry is another thing that I look for at thrift stores and garage sales to add to the glass art. I really like to add the jewelry. And I do buy some beads in that sometimes from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. So when this is done, it has to sit on a flat level surface overnight. Uh, I believe it takes about 24 hours to fu fully cure. And um, <clears throat> it needs to be at temperatures between 72 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's in your best interest to cover it with a dust cover. Hi, everyone. So when I first started um, doing this mirror, I was actually only going to put the roses up at the top and just leave the mirror plain. But when you put resin over a mirror, it kind of distorts it a little bit. So, I mean, you can still see yourself in it and everything, but it's not, it's not like um, it is before you put the resin over it. So anyway, I started by just doing that and then I thought, oh, it's probably gonna look weird. So I need to put something here also. And um, when I when I did that, I had sent the picture to my daughter. She said, oh, I liked it with just the roses at the top. And gosh, those roses at the top are so pretty. I just love the way they turned out. But you know, I like the way all of it turned out. So all of this glass on here is actually tumbled glass. So um, these flowers here, you saw I shaped them first and then tumbled them. And of course the leaves are tumbled and these little pieces of glass here are actually all tumbled glass. They're um, just, that's just happens to be how the glass broke up in those tiny pieces. Some were larger, some were smaller. Um, and, and then this glass at the bottom actually is that Dollar Tree glass. And this is the um, stained glass that I tumbled. So if you don't have a tumbler and you don't tumble glass and you want to make something like this, you certainly could do it. You just have to use, um, so, so for this glass here, if you don't have colored glass, you can get one of the Dollar Tree vases and just cut it in the way that I did this and just spray it. You either dye it with some alcohol ink or with the Krylon uh, spray paint. And um, of course, for the leaves, you could just use broken glass. It doesn't have to be tumbled. And these little tiny ones, you could use that Ashland decorative filler, the larger sizes. Let me see if you can see this. They're um, larger sizes, and you could actually use that for the flower petals. And uh, as far as the stained glass goes, you can just cut the stained glass. You don't necessarily have to tumble it. So um, that's another idea if you're wanting to do it and you don't have a tumbler. So um, anyway, I hope you guys like the way it turned out. Oh, the other thing I was gonna show you was, so these roses, like I said, were cut and tumbled. And um, on one of the previous videos that I showed you how to make roses, uh, I made this yellow one. Now this is the exact same glass, but it has not been tumbled, it's just cut. So, and look how pretty that is. I mean, that's just as pretty as those there. And, and like I said, that has not been tumbled. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. I did get some 
great garage sale finds this weekend. And um, if you can wait one minute, I'm gonna bring them in. They're actually still in the car. <laughs> okay, so I got, look at these. I got these windows. I couldn't believe it. This was such a find. These are 52 inches tall. They're a mess. They gotta be cleaned up. I don't know what would be the front. I guess maybe that would be the front. 52 by um, 14 inches, two of them, two identical ones. And these, I think I'm, I might hang in my dining room after I get them all cleaned up and do something. I gotta think of something cool to do on it. Anyway, so I got those two. These were all from the same garage sale. These two, and then this one here. And it looks like there's some painting on it. Yeah, she had painted along the side. She said she was gonna do something on it, maybe paint the glass, but never did. So I got, she wanted 15 for this and 10 for each of those. Um, so that would have been, how much? 10, 20, $35. And I offered them uh, 25 for the three of them. So I got all three of these for $25. I thought that was a steal. So um, that was great. That was the first scribe sale I stopped at. And then, and then I got these. I couldn't believe it. These were a dollar each. This, these will make great. Oh, I've got some necklaces in here that I bought there too. So, but look how pretty. Look at that glass. These will be great for uh, Christmas poinsettias. Some kind of Christmas ones. And um, silver in the inside, and I actually got two of them. This one's a little smaller, but they were a buck each. Couldn't pass it up. Like I said, I've got so much stuff, but when they're practically giving it away, I gotta get it. <laughs> so I got those. Yeah, so those were, these are what I really love. This is gonna take a lot of cleaning up, but I love these windows. And then um, the other thing I got was some necklaces. This for, um, I thought to put in the center of flowers. This was a dollar and this was a dollar. This I thought I could use for maybe trunk for the Christmas trees at Christmas time. I'm already thinking about Christmas. It's not even uh, July yet. By the time this comes out, it'll be July. Anyway, those were my great garage sale finds and this is my project finished. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. And um, if you want to be notified of future videos, subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.